Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me for today's video, hopping right on into today's content. Today we're going to be talking about arguably one of my favorite guitar brands and guitarists of all time, that is the EVH brand and Eddie Van Halen. And today in this video, I want to sit down with you guys and just talk about the EVH brand and see what they have to offer for 2023. We got a couple new finishes and different aesthetics with some of their models that we've seen for several years now and just kind of just... I don't know, react to them and just go through them like I always do, okay? So if you're brand new to my channel, all I ask is that you subscribe. Thank you so much in advance. Let's hop right on into the EVH Gear website product page. Pfft. Up at your screen right now, we have some of the new guitars that we have to offer. One thing that's interesting, and I wanna talk at the end of this video, but I wanna kinda of give it a little tease right now, I guess. I wanna talk about how the fact that like now with the unfortunate passing of the legend himself, Eddie Van Halen, what is the actual future of the EVH brand, all right? I want you guys to ponder that question, and we'll talk about it at the end of this video. For right now, let's go in and check out some of the new guitars. This one right here, this brand new Wolfgang Special. Woo! <laughs> this is cool, man. This guitar right here is probably the main reason why I'm making this video. Purple and gold, crown royal colors, crown royal aesthetic. This looks beautiful, man. Um, you know, every single year it seems like Wolfgangs are being updated and refinished and retooled, whatever you want to call it, man. Um, revitalized, I guess. But anyway, dude, right here for 2023, we have a brand new purple and gold Wolfgang. And with a roasted maple fingerboard and neck, this guitar looks whew, beautiful, dude. Uh, let's see if there's anything in terms of specs that may be sticking out for us. I would assume not because these are all kind of just like the regular, you know, Wolfgangs have kind of been like set in stone for quite some time. Let's just see if there's anything that sticks out here. So starting right off, compound fretboard radius, 22 jumbo frets, quarterson maple neck. Roasted maple neck is something that EVH never played himself, I don't believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he never actually played a roasted neck. Okay, and then also two Wolfgang Al Nickel 2 pickups. We also have the EVH Floyd Rose with the D tuna. Then we got the low friction pot for the volume and then the high friction pot for the tone. Okay. Yeah, man, this is just pretty much just run of the mill Wolfgang specials that you would expect from EVH, 1300 bucks, which honestly isn't that bad, man. Um, these guitars are constantly going up in price. I mean, just a couple years ago when I was doing YouTube, these guitars would go for like eight, 900 bucks, you know what I mean? But you know, it is what it is, sign of the times. Long story short, man, this is definitely a really, really cool guitar. But out of the Wolfgang specials with the quilt tops, this seems to be the only new rendition. Let's just check out the regular Wolfgang Specials. I really like the Wolfgang Specials, man. I think I like them more than the Quilt Tops. I don't know, just something about them. They're a little bit more plain, but I just think they just, I don't know, they just have a certain aesthetic to them, like more just like more clean, not as, as flashy. I don't know, something about them, I kind of dig them. And these are 1100 bucks. I don't know if I've seen this white one. Um, this one is, you know, pretty sweet, but also too, I remember this one from last year. I've seen this at my local guitar center in Plymouth Meeting, uh, Pennsylvania. This one's new here. We have a kind of Daphne blue. So kind of just going off of like the surf green. Now going Daphne blue, very Fender 50s style. I think this is cool, man. Daphne blue is one of my favorite colors for any sort of guitar. Um, something about those cream pickups just works better with the blue compared to the green for some reason. I remember saying this last year. I wish these pickups were black. However, now looking at these pickups against the Daphne blue. I don't know, man. It kind of matches a little bit better. I don't know. For some reason, that just... It looks kind of off black, I think would look better, but the cream definitely looks pretty cool. Anyway, man, cool guitar. And then we also have a tried and true black Wolfgang that looks very reminiscent of the PV Humans Being guitar or the one with the Billy Corgan interview or uh, the EVH prototype number four that he toured with. Anyway, man, yeah, a black Wolfgang with a maple board. You've seen it for many, many years and the man himself played one of these, you know, or something very similar. Um, yeah, it's a classic aesthetic, but this one right here the new one. I dig this one a lot I don't like it as much as the purple one uh, with the quilt top and the roasted maple neck and the gold Floyd and all that stuff and the gold hardware, but this is a cool guitar nonetheless something about it with the blue It works the green. I didn't like it. I don't know. Just I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm not making any sense I guess let's just check out the Wolfgang standards just in case there's a new color, you know something could pop up here um, but again similar to the Wolfgang specials these are kind of more reserved um, more flat tops and we do have some kind of cool paint schemes here, but regardless these are not as flashy Oh, here we go. We got a new Wolfgang standard with a metallic green Eh, not really a fan of that color and then we also oh, okay cool We also have a Wolfgang standard battleship gray. That's not bad. It's kind of a cool color Let's see if there's any pictures of this Yeah, okay. That's actually pretty sick, dude. Yeah, I like that color. 
very World War II bomber type of aesthetic. I guess hence the uh, the name Battleship Gray. Yeah, these are pretty cool, man. But um, I certainly like the Wolfgang specials more than the standards. And last but not least, I believe this is the last new guitar we have to check out. We have a Wolfgang standard with a quilt top, and this is in a tobacco burst. Very reminiscent of the PV days, like the 04 reunion tour, or even like in like 98 during the VH3 type of era. Um, I remember Eddie was playing something similar to this. So this is cool, man. You know, very, very classic kind of color scheme here. Um, I love a three-tone chocolate sunburst from a Fender Strat, so I've always been a sucker for this kind of tobacco burst. Um, yeah, dude, it's a cool guitar. So now what I want to do is kind of circle back around and talk about what I brought up in the beginning of this video and kind of ask the question of, is EVH done making new products? I'm not really sure, but let me let me explain myself here. Throughout the history of the brand, there's always been a bunch of reissues and reimaginings and, you know, reinventions of famous and iconic guitars that Eddie Van Halen played. For example, we got all the striped guitars, right? We got several renditions of the Bumblebee, all the renditions of the Frankenstrat, the white and black one, the red, white, and black one, etc. We've got the Shark guitar, we've got the Circles guitar, we've got the Kramer 5150 guitar. We have a lot of different renditions of the guitars that Eddie Van Halen played throughout his career. We also just recently got the EVH Iconic paying homage to, you know, I guess the PV5150. You know, we've always gotten a bunch of stuff coming through the EVH brand that was reissuing and reimagining what Eddie Van Halen had been playing while he was alive, right? And so I wanna ask you guys, are there really any more guitars to reissue and reimagine? I mean, off the top of my head, there's really not too many that I could think of. I think the coolest guitar that they haven't done yet that I could certainly see them doing would be reissuing the last guitar that he toured with, the relic one, the white one with the black paint underneath. I think that would be really cool. And I could see them doing several different tiers, like at a collector's tier of like $100,000 or whatever, or they could do it at like the more affordable line of like $2,000, similar to what they did with the 78 or the red, white, and black Frankenstrat, et cetera. You know what I mean? But apart from that, there's not really too many other guitars left to reissue. So I'm just curious to see like, is EVH kind of done with coming up with new things? I'm not sure. It's an open-ended question. It's more or less a rhetorical question. But regardless, I think the brand is big enough and Eddie Van Halen and his son Wolfgang are you know just amazing musicians i think this brand will certainly sustain itself and be you know uh lucrative for the long time future you know what i mean like i don't think it's just like dead i'm not trying to say that at all i'm just asking the question of like are they kind of done with new products i could see it that they probably are kind of slowing down with new products you know what i mean but anyway everybody regardless of what i think or what i'm sitting here pondering while I'm making this video i love evh guitars i love eddie van halen as everybody does i mean man's a legend Wolfgang's a phenomenal player and he's carved his own path, so he'll certainly carry on this brand for sure. Um, but regardless, man, it's cool to check out to see what they have to offer in 2023. Nothing too crazy, but you know, certainly that purple guitar, for example, is really, really beautiful. And anything EVH puts out is more or less a win, especially for anybody who's remotely a fan of, of Van Halen or Eddie Van Halen or Wolfgang, you know? So everybody, it's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. What do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions? Leave them down below and I'll meet you down below and we'll talk all things EVH, okay? With that being said, everybody, I am out of here. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.